Okay, breathe, breathe. I don't know what's going on. Oh, God. I'm starting to feel really nervous, guys. Our supreme leader, moisty, critical, moist man himself. He got defeated. He had his butt cheeks spread so wide, Mia Khalifa wouldn't know what part of the anatomy he was showing. His dildo collection must be very pulsating right now. They are like, fucking yeah, she's finally going to shove us up his bum. If he hasn't done so already. But if you're not seeing moist critical, took an absolute jab to the stomach. And boys, I hate to break it to you. His channel's been looking a bit, fucking, you know, a bit bit broken since boys i mean i you know i find moisty man quite funny man and um i i do like his videos uh they're okay he, he sits there look at his channel boys he has been uh, uh just kidding you know what I mean? he's doing it he's doing it all right sneeko you go continue to fist 12 year old you pedophile but yeah he took some mad l's to be fair i mean look i'm not a debater actually no i am i'm a really good debater and i'm great at arguing i'll Try again. I'm great at arguing with people. It's my, it's just my skill set. You know, some people can run fast, some people can climb trees. I can just talk and be rude. Dang. So basically, if you're not seeing, it's transgenders, underage. You know, neither. This is like the worst interview. You know, probably since Piers Morgan had a conversation with Ronaldo. Like this shit is dog dog boys like they're trying to be some. You know, we'll have some guy who's slightly more politically accepting. Can you hear that? That's really. I'll have some guy who's just, you know, Adolf's fucking nephew or something like that. Just kidding. Sneeko obviously is a religious man, so he has his own religious beliefs, which is why I just don't understand. You know what I mean? If your opinion is based on a book written, written three gazillion years ago, bro, please shut up. Like, that's like if the world ended, right? And some guy, I've survived, all right? I got frozen and I've come back alive. I lost all my memory. Fucking shut up. Just get on with the story. I come across this box. Yeah. Really good at it. It shines, it glows, calling to me. Hey, Link. Hey, Link, listen. I'm like, what? I open it and there's Game of Thrones. One to six, one to five, whatever it is. Storm of Swords, a Game of Thrones, all of them. A Feast for Crows. I know my shit, dog. They're all in there. It's like me reading them and go, you know what? This is how the world was made, wasn't it? Fucking hell. Fuck it. And what they do, they spend the rest of their lives looking for the last few books because George never finished them. Ha! That's like what this is. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, dude, the ice giants came and we fucked them up. Yeah, Jon Snow, the savior. Dude, no one in a, a hero book is called Jon except Jon Snow. I, my definition is anything under 18. If is, under that's 18, exactly you're a what a child is. Yeah, I think that is a great line in the sand. If you are under 18, you are a child. Your scenario. I have a question. It's like, it's like conundrum with that take, and I'm not being argumentative. I know 10 seconds ago I said I love arguing, but teen, 16, 17, you're in your 15s, 14s, you know, you're in your teens. Is that, like, I know that's not really relevant, but you're not, like, you're not a child, like, you know, 13's like a big age in England. I don't know, maybe it doesn't matter over there. I know you can buy a gun at the age of, like, four months old or whatever, but in England, when you reach your teens, that's like a big deal. You're more independent. They treat it so. It's not just, oh, you're a kid until you're 18 and you get fucking bitch slapped and treated like one earlier was if a 16 and a 21 year old if it, both parties were consent if the father was okay with it the mother was okay with it why not tell me take one which is wild 21 and 16 if any father is okay with that then fuck me jesus lord 21 and like car how could you do that would you be i would not be comfortable with that me personally, if you're into, you know, that sort of shit. Anyway, people tell me to stop talking, so I'm... ...your reason why that's wrong. Because you're, you're one getting... One is a child, one is not a child. That's the point. Do you believe that somebody can go through uh, hormone therapy? Can they change their gender if they're a child? I think that's totally fine as long as... Bad take number one from Charles Xavier. Fuck me, Charlie. I love you, dude. Look at him. He's smiling because he's like, I caught this bitch. This bitch is dead. Hmm? Firstly, my opinion on transgender people does not matter. My opinion is if you want to transition, you go for it. I believe you should be over the age of 18, the same way you're over 18 to drink, the same way you're over 18 to buy nicotine, the same way you're over 18 to have plastic surgery. Life-altering potential things needs a mostly developed brain. If I was 18, making decisions as serious as that, dude, I'd have three dicks by now. I'm telling you right now, three dicks or three pussies and ball sacks hanging from each earlobe. Like, that's what I would look like, because I'd be like, dude, I don't want to fucking look like that. That'd be sick, bro. I'd have blue pubes. Blue pubes. I don't think, I think it should be 21. In England, you can do everything at 18. 
but in America they have a rule about 21 in drinking. I don't care about that, but I think things like that, that's so serious, that should, rec- you know, you, you should be able to wait when you're 18 and say, okay, if you're serious about this, we'll consider it. We will, but this doesn't happen overnight. You don't just write a fucking email and next thing you know, your testicles are hanging up on a wall frozen. Like, no, that don't happen, bro. You know, it should be a long process in my opinion. I know people suffer from mental health, but people suffer from mental health even after they've had it. My mum's a social worker. She deals with all kinds of people. Good, bad, doesn't matter. She'll help them. And she said, a stag in fact, 50% of people are still transition, are still killing themselves in the United of Kingdoms. That to me is not a solution. That to me is just a, you know, that's just an option. You know what I mean? You have 10 options, but you're only looking at one. Anyway, look his face, the twat. Because everyone is consenting, as you agree with. <laughs> I think that's totally... Through uh, hormone therapy, can they change their gender if they're a child? I think that's totally fine as long as everyone is consenting, as you agree with. And then he shoots himself. I know, it, look, people tell me to eat, you talk to him. I don't give a fuck. Fuck off somewhere else, right? I'm talking. Yes, sir. My time, daddy. But he's like, he shot himself in the dick. He's like, if they're consenting, he's like, no, Charlie. No, because if they're, your point is if they're consenting, then they're consenting to being 16 and marrying a 21-year-old. And then his point is that these different ages don't have an, uh, an effect, but you're saying that they do. I'm sorry, Charles Xavier, dude. I love you, homie, but you really shot yourself in the fucking nutsacks. In my opinion, do what you want, bro, but it has to be when your brain is old enough to fucking know what it's thinking. Okay, so as long as everyone... Your parents are okay with it, and you are okay with it, I am. I think that's totally a fam- familiar decision to make, yeah. Okay, so, a child... Oh, I feel bad for him, dude. God, I love Charlie as well. He's such a good guy. Just don't get into a cage with a bear. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter if you're going to win. You're always going to get a few scratches. And my God, is this guy a grizzly bear who just will not leave the planet. Can cut their penis off and take hormone blockers and change their biology forever, but they can't get married? I my th- It's not a good look. One thing I just want to add. I think it's just the wording of the question. Sneeko's done this a billion times with a billion white people. He has. He knows the questions to ask because he did it last week. He did it this morning probably. He probably practiced on his pet giraffe. What Charlie is saying is, and I agree with him, someone else's body, someone else's choice. And I agree. I think someone else's body, someone else's choice. If you want to, you know, dabble in hormone shit, dabble ahead, dude. If you turn into the Incredible Hulk... I'll be fucking jealous, straight up, dude. I'll be like, shit, I wish I, I wish I chopped my balls off and injected that shit in my butt crack. I do. But the problem is, man, I just don't, I ain't gonna do it. I don't feel like a woman, and I barely feel like a human being, man. I barely feel like a human being. I'm talking about your personal beliefs. Do you think you... I just picked my nose, don't kill me. Do you think someone in their 20s should be able to marry a 15 or 16-year-old? To someone in their 20s should be, I mean, I personally wouldn't do it. I, I don't know. It took him way too long to work out the question. Like, someone in his 50 and going out with the 20s. Where, where are the 20s again? Many people who would do it. The maturity for people in the teenagers in, in the West is, is getting much worse, but there are- We're talking not- globally. Let's just talk globally. Like, do you think it is okay for, and I'm not talking about just you specifically anymore, anyone. Do you think it's okay for anyone in their 20s, an adult, to marry a 15 or 16 year old. A 21 year old, if, if there was a, a marriage where the father consented and the daughter consented, and it was both good on both families and they wanted to do it, why am I gonna get involved? Why should we get the government involved? Well, why you why, why would I tell them? See, I believe that's disgusting and wrong, but I, he, his point about why is the government involved, fuck. I do agree with that. You know, the government shouldn't be involved in anything to do with our lives. Okay, so this is the finale, the part about Moisty and the after bit. Uh, apologies all over the place. It kind of sums up my life. So why is it okay to, for a kid to cut his dick off? He's, he's making, he and his family, or he and she and that family, is making that decision for that child's life. If that's the path they want to go down, it's like choosing a fucking sport. You can do what you want to do. The, you you could do what you want to do. Yeah, that is not harming anybody. It, it's, it literally like, harms their body. Their body it, changes it, it, physically. It, it, that is their, they have the highest is, suicide rate out of any demographic. That is their decision to make. It, oh. it, 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 I think Charles knew he'd lost this battle, and some of the comments he makes don't quite um, represent, I think, probably his, maybe not his beliefs, he probably believes some of the things, but I don't think he addressed it very correctly. I mean, firstly, it's got nothing to do with picking a sport. You know, picking a gender is slightly more serious than 
picking a sport. You know, if you one day decide to, you want to play basketball, you go and buy a basketball. The next day, oh, I don't really like basketball. Oh, well, I bought this basketball. Oh, what a waste of money. It's 20 bucks, bro. You can put it at the fucking, on a wall, you know, on your shelf and look cool for the rest of your life. You know what I mean? If you go see Doc Octopus and tell him you want your fucking genitals chopped off, if he does it that evening, the next morning you go, actually, I kind of fucking like them. You can't get them back. If, you know, I don't like basketball, go play football. Go play golf. Oh, don't like not having balls. Go, oh, sorry, they're already in the recycling bin. Some, some woman's fucking stuck him to her. <laughs> Oh, God, horrid, horrid. But yeah, all jokes aside, lads, what do you think? I just wanted to uh, react to this. I love uh, Moisty. I think his videos are cracking. Um, um, you know, he speaks mostly sense. I think that's a very disappointing interview. Uh, I'm not left. I'm not right. I don't give a fuck. I, you know, I, I'm not, an, I hate Sneeko. Complete twat. And unfortunately, Moisty here is not, not looking in the, uh, the greatest of, you know, light, shall we say. But anyway, what, what can you do? Anyway, guys, that's it. Adios. Um, again, this is not a dig at anyone who wants to cut off their testes. I just think, you know, it's not like picking a sport at all. You know, if you want to leave that basketball there, leave that basketball there. Go buy football. You can't leave your testicles there and then put them back on when you get slightly... What's that thing called? Um, where, like, you know, couples, they can't leave each other. I don't know. Fuck him. <laughs>